Well, the American Ballet is kicking off at a brand new season. And one of the stars of the new season is the principal dancer, Misty Copeland. You know, she is breaking barriers. She's the first African American woman to be promoted to the principal dancer for the American Ballet Theater. And by the way, she does not rest on her laurels. She's always trying to um, make herself better and continues to work at her craft. And I got a chance to spend the day with Misty Copeland. Misty Copeland, nice to see you again. You too. So I noticed that you take dance class at Steps. Yes. I was like a little surprised. I'm like thinking, a prima ballerina here, isn't she beyond dance class here? Oh, no, no, no. Steps is for everyone. Uh, they have the best teachers and there's all different levels, but it's it's a nice challenge to kind of break away from, you know, the same classes that we take every day at American Ballet Theater. On the weekends or during my off time, I'll come and take class at Steps. That's amazing. I would just think that at your stage of the game, like this would be... No, ballet, not that challenging. No, but, uh, ballet will always be challenging. That's that's why I think people keep coming back to it. You can never perfect it. Um, being in ballet class is something that professionals have to do every day to uh, keep their technique refined and just to warm you up for the rehearsal day. One, two, one, one, Aches and pains. Any? <laughs> always. <laughs> What do you do to kind of like de-stress your body? Um, I see someone who works on my body once a week and it's not like the type of massage that most people have. It's like painful stuff to really get, you know, your muscles uh, back in alignment and your bones in alignment. Um, I do a lot of icing. It's just we're constantly, you know, working our bodies and then trying to release from the strain that we're putting it under every day. Tell me about the new season. What does it look like? What are you going to be performing? This is a really exciting season for American Ballet Theater, the fall season. It's only two weeks long, but it's an opportunity for newer choreographers to come in and, and work with us dancers. Um, and it's an opportunity for us to do more contemporary um, pieces. So we're used to just doing the full length classics. What kind of pressure is it for you to be a prima ballerina now. I guess it doesn't feel like it's old hat yet, right? No, there's constantly pressure. I mean, that's kind of what happens when you're part of a live art form. People are coming and they're expecting a certain thing every single night and, and you know, it may be the first time they're coming to the ballet and so you have to treat it every performance as if it's, you know, the last performance you're going to do. Something about Misty that nobody knows. Oh my gosh. I feel like people know a lot about me. <laughs> <laughs> I would still say that I'm I'm pretty shy and I'm a homebody and um, and I'm pretty clumsy. Those Come are probably on. all things. That's that, impossible. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Um, I feel like we, as dancers, there's so much focus on our bodies and on balance and posture when, you know, eight hours a day. And then it's like you finish and your body just kind of gives out on you and you don't, you don't put as much focus into what you're doing. But I trip and I fall all the time. You do. When was the last time you took like a really bad spell that you were like, oh, did I do something uh. this time? <laughs> I mean, I fall on stage a lot. Um, it happens, and, and to me, it's, it means you're taking chances, and it's about the recovery and how you recover from that and, and get the audience to kind of be on board with you. I've had that happen to me in a performance where you take a huge tumble and the whole audience is just like oh, gasping, but then when you get up and you really go for it and you don't kind of apologize, they like love it. I heard your husband calls you Bam Bam because you're yeah. so clumsy. <laughs> yeah, he does. He I'm does. Always like hitting him by accident and he's like, I just don't understand how you can be so graceful on the stage and you're just like wild when you're off. <laughs> <laughs> what about children? Yeah, I mean, I come from a big family. I'm one of six children and um, I'm so fortunate, I feel, to have had so many siblings and I, I would love to start a family at some point. Some point. At some point. I don't know if now is the time with you know my career and how demanding it is, but at some point, yes. Your latest book is a cookbook. 
And I was like, come on, Misty Cooks? <laughs> <laughs> but I was checking out your Instagram page, <laughs> and you get pretty creative. I, yeah. Ballerina Body is, is really just demonstrating what it takes to be an athlete, what it takes to be a healthy woman. Um, you know, and it's not just about the physical, it's not just about the cross training and the working out that I do day in and day out, but it's also what I'm putting into my body. I brought ballet slippers, and I was wondering if you could show me. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Do I dare and ask Misty Copeland to show me a few moves? Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's put them Let's on. <laughs> First, we'll be here, okay. and you don't have to be so turned out. But as long as your toes are pointing out, I and your feel heels like are together, pain. and you can hold on, <laughs> you can hold on. The bars there to um, get you strong enough so okay. that you can then do it on. So okay. uh, we'll do a just a plie, and keeping the back really straight. My backside when I go to the plie. <gasps> yeah, that's the back. hard part. You have to keep this straight and back and shoulders back. Yes, okay. and then you can go tendu, and we'll go to second position, and the same thing, plie and stretch. Yeah. We're ready. <laughs> Let's do a lift. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for the new season. Good luck, Misty Thank Copeland. you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Let's do the bow. What a great interview. I love her. And so candid and we found out things that we didn't know about. So who knew she was clumsy right, just like exactly. the rest of us. Right. <laughs> um, by the way, she is a fantastic ballerina and of course continues to break the mold. Um, and she sees like, you know, the light at the end of the tunnel. I mean, she told, told me, you know, my days are numbered. That's right. I'm get, I think she's 35. Right? Yeah. Uh -huh. So, uh, but in the meantime, she's killing it. Yes, she is. Every day she's out there working and stretching her body and doing beautiful She's a things. great role model. She really is. Just what a talent. And I have to say, I brought a little ballerina with me who, um, uh, you know, a sparring one, right. who wanted to meet Misty, and she was just, Misty couldn't have been nicer to her. So, anyway. And you had, I mean, you just walk around with ballet slippers, I usually. <laughs> Lori, you don't know a lot about me. I have a lot of my bag. <laughs> you look good. All right, so I promise you I won't do anything when the people from So You Think You Can Dance are okay. here. Okay, I'm not going to.